Hi everyone, welcome to my floss tube numero dos. Um, my name is Ymir and I am a cross stitcher, I guess, um, from New York City. And I am here to show you guys my face because my first video I did a voiceover um, slash stitch with me so you weren't able to see my face you were only able to see my fingers and I figured I would show my face on my second video and obviously from now on um, so yeah so I'm here to show you guys a few things on what I'm working on what do I have and yeah I'm here to get to know you guys to meet new friends and all those goodies so why don't we just get started right away so first thing is that I'm working on um, based on my previous video below somewhere um, within the feed is my floral panel um, I started this on my 24 hours of cross stitch I have a needle in here so I started this one so I'm not that far in but this is what it looks like currently um, so I did this one over one um, on 30 count linen um, with a 3837 I believe DMC or 3738 I can double check that and put that in the description um, color purple so this one is gonna be about I want to say 4 inches by 12 inches so it's gonna be pretty this is gonna be the length the width so far um, so it's hopefully gonna be this long I'm excited for that one um, primarily because my boyfriend selected this one and it's one of his favorite colors so I'm kind of excited for him not to be bored on different things that I'm working on and actually having something that he really wants and likes so um, I'm excited for that one um, the second piece that I'm actually working on is a this one is a mess actually um is a uh full coverage it's actually a portrait of my boyfriend do 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 i can show you guys a picture um so this is so far where i'm at it's a lot of confetti um i'll insert the photo here it's a lot of confetti on this one so I've kind of been putting it off um, it's been an on and off kind of situation um, in the image you'll see a lot of the bills back here so I got bored and I went down to the bottom so I'm kind of working my way in so hopefully we'll get there somewhere um, here you will see I kind of tried a little bit of everything i did stitching in hand um i start off with the hoop went into a q snap got bored or kind of couldn't really um what do you say i couldn't really get the grasp of it so i just chugged everything and kept on stitching by hand i also tried attempted um to do stitching by diagonal I think I stopped somewhere around here after I got bored um, so that's where I'm at with that one that those are my two main pieces that I actually want to hopefully get done soon because I've pumped my boyfriend up um, on it um, sorry let me get this turned off yeah so I pumped him on about it so I'm Hopefully gonna get it done by this year. We'll see what happens. Um, my second piece, third piece, third whip that I'm actually working on. It's a little baby. I'm super behind, so don't judge me. Um, but I do feel like I can catch up pretty quickly. It's a Sal by Peppermint Purple. It's on Facebook. It's a little baby. Look how small. So I've been working on this one. Dee, dee, dee. So I'm about seven, eight weeks behind. Bad girl. 
Um, but yeah, I kind of like the colors, like the little situation going. I plan on hopefully, if God's willing, keeping all of these cells small so I can have just a section on my wall with all the like little cute cells year per year. Um, but don't quote me. We'll figure that out soon enough. Um, I did start, ooh, hair in my eye. Ah. Um, I did start this one, so we'll see what happens next year. Or perhaps if I go back in the years before. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know. What do you guys think? Oh, this is a 28 count uh, Monaco. Stitching one over one. Tiny really um questioning my eyesight right now i am supposed to be wearing glasses but you can see my reflection on here so i took those off um reflections are not cute so i don't know um the next item slash situation that i'm working on um i think it was an instant regret once I started working on it, but not really, I kind of like to torture myself. I started working on these vans. I did some black work on it. Do you see? I did one side. I'm not planning on doing the other side. But I got to do the other shoe. Problem. Um, I had to take a little bit of a break on these because my fingers were hurting and I'm I, I don't know I don't know guys tell me how you really feel about thimbles um I don't know they're always like jingling around my fingers so I never found ever since I was younger I went to fashion school fashion design school um, so I did have to do a lot of sewing tailoring and all that good stuff I never found a comfortable thimble i have long and skinny fingers and i don't know where to find something good so if you guys know of any mini me thimbles let me know because maybe i should try it on these i do suggest using a thimble because my fingers were stripped um after working on this just this side and i think it took me about two days three days because i had to keep on starting and stopping um because it kind of did hurt um and then the second thing that i need to start considering is how to finish it on the inside um someone's honking outside did i say i live in new york so we're always loud um, but yeah, so I need to start, um, considering my options on finishing the inside of the shoe. Uh, that is something that I am very, uh, attentive about. I do know that my backs on a lot of my pieces are not so cute. Um, I'll just show you what this one looks like. This one looks okay. Um, because they're, I don't know. It looks somewhat okay. However, let me see. No, this one also looks okay, somewhat. But I'll show you a messy one. Messy, messy. Look at my mess. How embarrassing is that? And I am very particular about my work and everything in life. Um, if you know me, you know that I'm even in my like handwriting it's very very tiny and very like meticulous so I have an issue with this one but I'll keep it aside and I won't complain about it let me know I know I'm not alone so I'm not gonna sweat that one um but yeah I need to consider my options on how I'm gonna finish the inside of those sneakers so if you guys have any ideas let me know and I can try and experiment and let you guys how that worked out for me. Um, but I'm not sure I'm gonna finish that. So it could be a little bit comfortable. 
I'm thinking of probably using some kind of like super thin felt, maybe moleskin, I don't know. Um, we'll see. And then my next one, don't judge me on this one. And it's primarily because I chose not to cut my fabric. Um, so I'm stitching on a little corner because I don't want to cut into my fabric. I don't know why, but I'm going to have to cut into it. Ooh, do you guys see my little needle minder? It's a little llama. How cute is that? It's a little llama. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'll show you my floss holder. It's matching. It has a big llama. It's a little llama. Big llama. Llama mamas. Right? Um, but yeah, so back to the situation. This is um, Save the Stitches by Elizabeth Almond. If I'm not mistaken, I might be wrong. I might be saying her last name wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's Elizabeth Almond Blackwork. Um, I am putting this one on timeout, A, because this was my first attempt at black work and I have a habit of jumping into things that are hard or my first try at something and I pick big pieces so this is probably gonna be this big I don't know the measurements but I know it's gonna be gigantic based on the images that I've seen and I think that's why I'm neglecting on cutting my fabric because I don't want to um, face my reality yet but I have to because it is a good piece of Monaco 28 count yippee um, it's a good piece of Monaco that is just sitting there so I need to put other projects in there for it so once i figure something out that i want to use it for i'm probably gonna have to come back and cut it down and do something about it but yeah so this one is on a timeout because i believe that i need to frog this situation right here because i think i'm off probably by one stitch somewhere so i need to do some counting between here here or here or here we'll figure that out i don't know whenever i'm um mentally prepared to work on this one i will figure that out and i will get back to you guys on that one um one of the main issues why is i don't chart grid grid I don't grid my fabric however um, I don't like marking onto it like drawing it out or doing the uh, what is the situation called duh, 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 duh. I even purchased this um, the easy count easy grid something situation uh, fishing wire line thingamajig I don't know I even tried this and I did not like it I don't know why I don't like when it like like it just I don't like when stuff doesn't lay flat so it was just very like buckly maybe I did it wrong I don't know um I also tried using thinner floss to also start gritting my fabric and that somewhat was also a fail um so what i came up with because so far let me jump back to this whip so far i am not um off by anything on this whip but what i did do is and it did help me for those that don't like gritting the fabric I actually did baby ticks along the sides just so I can kind of do 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 
and kind of find my spot pretty quickly. That's been helpful for me. So I don't know if anybody else has been doing that or has done it. Um, try it out if you're not a gritter. Um, that might be helpful for you um, because it's helpful for me. So try that out um, and let me know how it goes because I was looking for different options on gritting and or just even like how to find my spot. And I just found a lot of um, uh, a lot of just drawing it out and I don't use pattern keeper sometimes I try to use my iPad but a lot of the times I have it super old school I have the good old printed PDF chart and I carry it in my bag carry it on me so I am scratching my face I am breaking out badly and that is because don't jump down my throat it is because I've been wearing my mask a lot um, I use it all day at work um, as you should wear your mask everyone wear your mask whenever you're out shopping interacting with people wear your mask um, but I think the fabric that the previous mask that I was using was not compatible with my face uh, it was cotton fabric but it was just I don't know I don't know I used that mask, be, those masks, because um, those were reusable. I believe you can, after 20 washes, you after 20 washes, you throw them out. But I used them because that's what was given, provided to me at work. And we have to wear the ones that they give us at work. Uh, but a good thing is that the second alternative that they gave us was the disposable ones, the ones that you use every day. Unfortunately, I did have to stop using the reusable ones and go back to the disposable ones uh, just to see like what's going on here. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I usually have pretty clear skin. Uh, but I'm not sure if it's that or if it's just because it's a freaking heat wave. It is hot, hot, hot up here in New York. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's not the hottest city or state right now compared to everywhere else. You guys probably have a bigger heat wave than myself. But I don't know. It's not, is it going to stop me from using my mask? Absolutely not. But I just need to figure out and take care of this situation. I have pretty sensitive skin, so I need to figure that out quickly. So that's why I tried to course correct and go back to the disposable ones to see what's up. Uh, and if that works, I'm going to have to come to terms with figuring out better options and alternative on both being skin friendly and eco friendly so that's gonna be a tbd um but yeah uh so yeah so i showed you guys one two three four whips no one two three four whips yes so those are the current items that i'm working on i am excited for those and hopefully i'll be able to start and finish this year all of these items I started this year because I picked up stitching back again this year after many years of being naughty and not doing it because life got in the way I was finishing my master's and my doctorate degree so I really didn't have time for myself aside from being a bookworm and trying to memorize as much information as possible so now that I'm done I have a life and I get to socialize. I can't socialize right now because of quarantine and everything that's happening, but hopefully I'll be able to socialize somewhere down the line. Um, so we'll see. I look forward to what hopefully the rest of 2020 brings to us and hopefully the next year because I've never been to any stitching retreats or any type of events like that so I look forward to trying to do one of those and we'll see what happens um aside from that I think perhaps 
I'll try to work. I want to finish the sneakers somewhere, somehow within the next two weeks because it's summertime. Why not flaunt your sneakers? Um, so I'll be excited to wear those uh, during the summertime. Hello, because here in New York, it snows and it rains when it's fall, winter, autumn all other um seasons sorry english is not my first language so sometimes i'm thinking in spanish but i'm speaking in english so i have to put everything together and make sure that i'm articulating properly uh but yes yeah, so i need to make sure i finish those so that's going to be one good uh wearable finish that i'll be able to wear and hopefully i get to post awesome great pictures and um you guys will like it we'll see what happens and I don't know if I'll make more of those sneakers. We will see. Let me know what you guys think if anybody's interested in them. I can share the pattern maybe. I, don't quote me on that. I need to see if that was a free pattern. If it was a free pattern, I can share it. If it was not, I can direct you, direct you directly to where I purchased it um off the bat just letting everyone know i am very very um keen does keen mean serious or whatever pro um about giving credit where credit is deserved and uh not copying or stealing designs from other people so i want to make sure that i don't do that so if that was a free pattern or someone's pattern, I can't remember from who I got it or where I see it. I'll do a little bit of digging and I'll put it in the description box. And yeah, we can go from there. Um, aside from that, this video is already 22 minutes long. I didn't expect it to be 22 minutes long. But aside from that, those are the next thing. Those are the few things that I'm working on. Uh, I don't have a lot of um, whips, obviously, as you guys can see, because I just restarted stitching. But I am looking forward to starting a lot of stitches and a lot of things. I have a few things in mind. I am considering considering doing the long dog samplers um pandemic i'm not sure let me know what you think but i'm considering doing that um it looks fun i like that style i like long dog samplers and i'm not sure so that's going to be a TBD for the next time or a topic of discussion um, that we can have together. And hopefully we can figure that out because I think it's going to be fun. A, if I want to do one color or multiple colors and picking out the fabric and that whole process of elimination to finally getting to the perfect match. So... I do have a lot to think about and yeah I may just add it on I may just do a little bit start it and probably stop it we'll see what happens we don't know what the rest of the year is gonna look like I may have to start working back from home sometime somehow we don't know so we'll see what happens um but aside from that thanks for watching let me know if you guys have any questions, suggestions. I love feedback, constructive feedback, um, criticism. I don't know. It may mean the same thing, but you know what I mean. So just let me know what your thoughts are. Let's connect. You can find me on Instagram at Almond m &Ms because it is my favorite candy. Um... And sidebar, it is my favorite candy. However, I have not had almond M&Ms in probably at least six months. At least six months. And it's probably a little bit more longer because I feel like 
the last time I purchased M&Ms was prior to Christmas time or during Christmas time when I had finals and was graduating and all that good stuff. Uh, technically, I tend to eat, um, I tend to stress eat stress eat and a lot of that comes in the manifestation of sugar so i probably did purchase at that time but i know for a fact i did not purchase i did not purchase anything from february march until recently about two weeks ago which is where are we again july technically august because it's almost the last week of july or it is the last week of july who knows i don't know anymore i just show up to work i know if it's monday through friday or what time i'm supposed to be there but aside from specific dates i don't know anymore it's a big mush the year went by fast but yes so don't judge me on my own m and m's habit um but I was a good girl this year so far. I only purchased one bag, a family size bag that is. So yeah, um, let me wrap this up and hopefully I will see you guys on the next video for video number tres. Um, I will hopefully have hauls because I've been shopping. I've been shopping. Um, so I've been buying a lot of things and I do want to share that. Motorcycles. Doo, 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 doo. Okay, he's gone. Yes. Um, yeah, I do want to share what I'm purchasing and get feedback on what else to buy or what you guys are using and trying and all that good stuff. I do have a large, large haul from Fire Poppies, I believe. Um, primarily floss. I couldn't make up my mind, so I purchased the whole rainbow. Or purchase what they had available. So we'll see what happens. I do need to um, figure out how I'm going to store it. Well, I do know how I'm going to store it. But that's going to be in the next video. Um, on how I'm going to store this stuff. And go from there. But yeah. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.